Hey everyone, in case you're new here, my name is Sarah and welcome back to the series where I am teaching you how you can take your watercolor paintings like this one and turn them into repeating patterns that you can use in things like fabric, wallpaper, textiles, home decor, gift wrap, and the list goes on and on. So in the first part of this series, I walked you through my tips for actually painting and how to paint with pattern making in mind. And so in the next kind of set of videos here, we're going to be looking at the technical side, bringing that painting into Photoshop and prepping it for your actual pattern making. So without further ado, I'm going to start by showing you how to take multiple scans and merge them into one in Photoshop using something called Photo Merge. Okay, so here we are in this forest floor folder that we created last time in, in the first video. So I only put my scans in here. I don't have the photo that I took, but all of these steps are going to be really similar if you took a photo versus if you took scans. So I'm going to be working with my scans and you might remember that I ended up scanning this in two different scans because my actual painting was too big for my scanner to do all at once. So I'm going to show you how I merge those scans in Photoshop. So I'm going to start by just opening the first one. And so I just right click and then click open with Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so now we've opened it up in Photoshop and we can see that this is only, you know, kind of half of the painting that I did. So the way that I like to merge, and it's very easy, is I go into File, Automate, Photo Merge. Okay, so this is basically just a smart action that Photoshop can do to take your two files and figure out where they match up and then merge them together. So I'll just show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna click on Browse, and then I'm just gonna navigate to where those two scans are. And I'm gonna select both of them and click Open. I just stay with the default settings here. There's a lot that you can do, but I just stick with the default. And if you click OK, Photoshop is gonna do its thing and it's gonna merge those two scans. Sometimes this can take a minute while Photoshop thinks, but you'll see it's gonna open up a new file that's called Untitled Panorama, and that's fine. You'll see that that original file that we opened up, we can just close it, it doesn't matter. Okay, so here we are, Photoshop has done its thing and we have our merged image here. And so basically, if you take a look down in the layers panel here, you can see what Photoshop has done is essentially created two masked layers. So I can show this by, I'll turn off one of these layers and you can see Photoshop basically decided that this line here is the best line to merge these two scans. This is where the match was the best. And so sometimes it's worth just taking a look at that seam and seeing, you know, if there's anything funky that we need to fix. But generally I found that Photoshop does a really good job. So, I mean, again, we can turn that one off and on and you can see right here is where it merged and I think it did a great job. So I'm a big fan of non-destructive editing, which means I keep a lot of original files in my working Photoshop files so that I can always go back to them. So what I'm gonna do is make sure both of these layers are selected and I'm gonna hit Command G to group them. And I'm gonna call this original merge. And then I'm going to hit Command J to duplicate that. And then what I can do is select those two layers again and hit Command E to merge them. So rather than having two separate mass layers, now I've just merged it all into one kind of normal layer. I'm just going to call this original. And I don't need this to be in a group. So I hope you found that helpful. Stay tuned because in the very next video, I'm going to show you my best tips for organizing your files for success in your pattern making journey. So I'll catch you very soon in that next video.